Russian army will set a record for its own losses this May, military political observer. This May, according to Ukrainian military political observer Alexander Kovalenko, the Russian occupiers will set a record for their own losses, which will exceed the enemy's ability to compensate for this gap. As Kovalenko notes, the third week of the month is ending, and obvious and probable records of losses for the invaders are already emerging. It is obvious that this month the Russian United Forces will have an absolute record for personnel losses which will exceed 30,000 or their average monthly mobilization potential. Probably May may be the month, the first month during which compensation for losses by unit will not be brought to zero, let alone a plus, but for the first time in a long time it will go into minus, the expert believes. According to him, the enemy is very close to an absolute record for artillery losses, which is due to the receipt of ammunition by the armed forces of Ukraine and the intensification of counter-battery warfare. It is likely that this month will also set a record for the destruction of motor vehicles, which, partially or completely, in Russian units. United Forces units began to replace armoured fighting vehicles and therefore are taken out more often. Actually, May promises to be very productive, but most importantly, this is the first month which can really lead to a loss in many indicators of compensation for losses and not just in terms of personnel, the analyst predicts. At the same time, Kovalenko admits that the Ukrainian armed forces still have problems, in particular with an insufficient number of weapons and an incomplete, disproportionate supply of units with ammunition. He adds that this is due to the slow supply supply of relevant weapons. One person died aboard a Singapore Airlines flight which encountered severe turbulence and diverted to Bangkok, the airline said. Flight SQ321 from London Heathrow to Singapore took off on May 20, but the Boeing 777 diverted to Bangkok 11 hours into the journey. We can confirm that there are injuries and one fatality on board the Boeing 777-300ER. There were a total of 211 passengers and 18 crew on board. Singapore Airlines Flight SQ321, operating from London to Singapore on May 20, 2024, encountered severe turbulence en route. The aircraft diverted to Bangkok and landed on May 21, 2024. Singapore Airlines offers its deepest condolences to the family of the deceased. Our priority is to provide all possible assistance to all passengers and crew on board the aircraft. We are working with the local authorities in Thailand to provide the necessary medical assistance, and sending a team to Bangkok to provide any additional assistance needed, the statement said. One passenger on board the flight, Zafran Asmer, a 28-year-old student, told Reuters, Suddenly the aircraft starts tilting up and there was shaking so I started bracing for what was happening, and very suddenly there was a very dramatic drop so everyone seated and not wearing a seatbelt was launched immediately into the ceiling. Some people hit their heads on the baggage cabins overhead and dented it, they hit the places where lights and masks are and broke straight through it. Thai immigration police said medical personnel have boarded the plane to assess injuries, but could not confirm the number. It said uninjured passengers had disembarked. Thailand's 3 Plus News reported that 30 people were injured on the flight. It's the second fatal incident in the airline's 77-year history, after a plane attempted to take off on the wrong runway in 2000. Singapore Airlines is often regarded as one of the world's best carriers, one of just 10 to be ranked 5 stars by Skytrax. Severe turbulence can often result in injuries with passengers hitting the cabin ceiling, but deaths are extremely rare. Oh, yeah, sure.